1 p.m. Eastern time. We're a little late today, starting at 2, and then had a little technical difficulty. So I'm going to flip the screen and we are going to get started. So let me just bring this one around. There we go. You should be able to see my template for today. I had a special request from Asha to make some peacock jewelry. So that's what we're doing today. I'm going to pull up the video on my computer so I could see your comments. Thanks for hopping on. Thanks, Amber. Sorry about that. I, I forgot how I set it up last time, so we should be good to go now. So we have the peacock uh, jewelry here. Our screen is a little bit low, so let's just bring this uh, tripod up a little bit. I thought it would be good, but it's a little bit low, so let's just bring the tripod up a little bit more, and then we should be good to go. There we go. And then this one too. Perfect. I think we're gonna be good. So can you guys see the see the template? Still a little bit low, eh? So we're we're gonna be doing the um, the peacocks today with some wire, maybe some beads. And like I said, it was a special request from Asha. So we're gonna see how that goes. What I'm gonna do for next week is I'm gonna measure the table and see what we need and then we'll be and then we'll be good so it's a little jiggly now sorry about that oh there we go i think these are on its max now so perfect so back to square one these are the sketches hi amber yeah so now we're now we're, we're pretty good and the lighting's not too too bad so let's just get started um i had a few ideas here uh, as always i do the sketches first and then I just go from uh, from there to uh, improvise. So I might try some wire ones first and then try some uh, some beads. And the other thing I thought would be cute is just a little feather. And I actually have a peacock feather because we have friends that used to live in the country that had peacocks. So I actually have this feather, which is really interesting. So maybe I could try something like that. And I'm going to put those there. I'll just grab my water, have a little sip, and uh, and I, I think we'll just get going. Hi, Manuela. Sorry that I, I, if you tried to hop on the first live, I had to cut out because um, my camera wasn't set up properly. So we should be good to go now. Hi, Ada. How are you? And I'm going to just start with my standby uh, 20 gauge wire and see what I can do with this. And um, like I said, these are for Asha. This was a special request. So I thought it would be really fun to experiment. Now, the one that I was thinking to do first was maybe this one here with three wires. So let's give that one a try. I'm gonna get, I'll start with one longer wire, maybe about 12 inches long. And then I am going to uh, cut a few pieces. So um, if you guys are wondering, Tree Sap Girl is Amber, and Amber helps me moderate the chat. So thank you, Amber, for that. I really appreciate that. And um, we might have Mustafa, we might not, because it's late for him, and Clarice might be hopping on as well. So that's cool. So let's go ahead and get started with uh, the sim this simple-ish one. And I'm going to grab my pliers. I really like these um, tweezer nose pliers. I'm gonna just clean this off a little bit. And hi, Mirta, thanks for hopping on the first time. Um, we had a little little glitch, so, uh, so here we go. We're gonna just start with the peacock. I'm going to give that one a little bit of a bend. And, oh, I really appreciate it, Amber. That's awesome, and thanks for hopping on a little later than usual. Um, I'm actually going to do a poll in the community section to see if people prefer 1 p.m. Eastern time or 2 p.m. because um, sometimes it's a little difficult for me to get here at 1, but I know it's late for people to do 2 o'clock. So I'm going to, I'll do a little poll and we'll see, we'll see what people say. So now I'm just going to bring this one up and I thought for the little spikes on the hair, just for this one, maybe just to do them with wire. So I'm going to do one like that and they kind of stand up so I can do them just like this or I could do like little little things on the end. I think I'm going to try some just like that 
And um, Emanuela says, I don't know English, but seeing you a lot, I learn a lot. Oh, well, thank you. So Manuela, I don't uh, know what language you speak. If you speak Spanish, uh, gracias. I'm actually trying to learn a little bit of Spanish because I have a lot of Spanish viewers on my channel. So I would love to learn a little bit of Spanish. I'm actually using that Duolingo app to try to learn some. And um, I had taken Italian before when I went to Italy, but it didn't really stick. So maybe the Spanish will stick. So I've just done some little loopies on the top for the head. And then now we're just going to bring this one around, curve it around and around here. And then we're just going to bring this one down. Maybe I should get something to curve it with. And we're gonna bring this one around here and around down here. So this is sort of the starting. It's a little bit exaggerated, this shape here. And then we're gonna bring this one down here and bring this one down around here. So we've got that around here. So this is sort of, whoa, it's really exaggerated, but it's kind of cute when it's elongated, but I might just fix this little shape. This is a little got a bit of a hunchback. I don't want it to be too hunched. So cool cat kitty. Hello. You do such good rings. Thank you. So happy you're here on the live stream. We do a live stream every Wednesday troubleshooting ideas. So I'm just working on ideas for these peacocks. So that was a special request from Asha. And I just want to maybe this heads a little bit exaggerated, but that's okay. It's just to get the design uh, properly. Mustafa, you're here. Oh no, you're not late. I'm super late. In fact, I DM'd you on Instagram to tell you I would be late today because um, I had to get some orders out. If you guys don't already know, uh, we have a business making custom wire wedding cake toppers and jewelry. So I was busy getting an order for a sailboat wedding cake topper today. So that's what I was doing. So here is like the first attempt the shape is not the best here, but this just gives you an idea. And then I want to, what I, my idea was to get some other pieces of wire. So we're going to take this one around here and yeah, we're just getting started. So we're going to put that one there. And then the other one I was thinking, this is one of those things that I did a drawing and whether it actually works or not, we're going to see. Cause I was thinking if we did it like three separate wires, we could do one like that, one like this, and then one here, like stack them up because we want three like ends, right? So if we stack these up like this, it's interesting. And then we would have to take one of these like longer ones, maybe this one, it's long, and then just wind it around. So let's see if that's going to work. If we wind those around, I don't know how well they're going to stay in place. They might not stay that in place that well, but that's the idea was to wind them around. Actually, maybe I should have twisted them all together because they might like come undone. That's the thing. So let's just see what this is going to do. Maybe it's not too bad. And then the idea would be to like take these out, pull them out around and try to form the um the feathers we're going to bring this one down here we're planning for my sister's birthday nice happy birthday to your sister that's awesome so now we're going to take this one here that one that one that one and i don't know if we need six maybe we don't need six see these are really wiggling now so let me just try another solution for that i'm going to pull this one back and uh, not sure how well this is going to work. So we're going to just try to, what if we just straighten this one? And it's going to try to straighten this one. Bring them all down. What if we twisted them all? This might not work at all, but I think we would have to take the pliers and just twist them around. Might work, might not work. So let's just try this. And... I don't think it's going to work, but we're going to try it. So we're going to try to twist this around like one of those trees, like a wire tree, but it might work. And also she got really distorted. So it actually might not work, but 
we have an idea. And this one I'm gonna cut because it got really mangled. So let's cut that one and see. There we go. And put that one there. Uh, yeah, this one got a little bit mangled out of shape. It got a little like pinched in. Looks a little cartoon-like. I kind of like the idea of it looking like a tree, but I'm not 100% sure what it's going to do. And then these ones, you would at that point, because now they're more solid at least, I should have left more space up there uh, just so you could see the, um, the shape a little better. But this is the idea. So then you have these here. And then we want to make some spirals. So I normally make spirals on my little plastic cone, but these are small. So I'm actually going to take the end of a pen. So we're going to do this, bring it around one, two, up. And then this one, one, two, up. This one, one, two, up. This one, one, two. Oops, got tangled a little bit. Up, up, and then one more. Here, that one, another. Nice. Oh, I'm glad you guys can speak uh, Spanish together. That's awesome. Very nice. So there we go. And one day I'll, one day I'll join in. So we're gonna go like that and like that, and like that. These are flying all over the place. I'm gonna have to get my broom. So, so far, it already looks kind of cute with the little tails like that. But now we're gonna close these spirals. So now, let's we go. You have to go, no worries, Mustafa. You can come and go as you need, and you can go to bed if it gets late, because it is late where you are. So now we're gonna take this one and bring this one around close that little circle there, push it in, and then for the spiral, we want to take that and kind of push it down a little bit. So, and the next one I do, I'm going to put beads on it, but for now, I'm going to just keep this plain wire, and there we have like the little spiral. So it's super cute, and then we have to do the same thing with the rest of these. If this is too elongated too, we can always like push that out a little bit to make it a little more round. And there we go. Uh, los Anilos. What's Los Anilos? Is that earrings? No, I don't think so. I think earrings is arete. I wish I understood Spanish, but I'll get there one day. Don't worry, guys. One of these days I will get there for sure. Uh, it's, it's cute, eh, Amber? It's, it's coming along for a first, first attempt. It's not awful, so that's good. And uh, it gives you guys an idea of what you can do and then you can kind of do your own thing with it. But right now I just want to get these spirals in and bring these little ends in. I've been really tripping on spir spirals these days. We've do done a lot of spirals for some of those little components uh, for our uh, eyeglass holders and bracelets and all kinds of things. And uh, you guys know my favorite way to make spirals is on the cone. So that's, I'm just pushing them in now. So let us just, oh, Clarice is here. Hi, Clarice. So Clarice just shared the link to the Facebook group. So if you're not already a member of the Wire Makers Club on Facebook, Clarice is one of the moderators in the group and we um, share photos of our wire art and jewelry. Uh, we can ask, uh, answer question, any questions you have about making wire jewelry wire art and uh, we share tutorials too. So that's a great little group. Uh, people of all levels in that group. Some people have never made wire before. Some people have done it for many years. So yeah, it's a very wonderful supportive group and uh, Amber and Mustafa are also in that group, which is super fun. So uh, Carly Stone, hello, hello. So now we're just gonna push this one in. I don't know if Asha is coming on today but uh, they uh, DM me on Instagram to ask about uh, peacock designs. So here, uh, this, this spiral got a little bit more open. These ones are a little tighter. So you can do them any, like if you want the spiral to be tighter, you just have to go in and tighten them up a little bit. You can definitely do that. So let's see how these are lining up. 
there, there, and this one we can make a little shorter too. And you can even like overlap them a bit. They don't have to be like one beside each other. They're kind of actually cute if you overlap them. So there's our first attempt at a peacock, guys. Not too bad. Um, SFB says, love the video, dear coach. Hello, hello, thank you. Mm -hmm. So now let us look at the other designs. Uh, this one's cute too, with just little loopy things. That's really fun. I like that one. And then there's some with, that we do with beads and stuff too. So why don't we try something like that with little loopy things. I'm gonna get some 20 gauge wire of the gold, different color this time. Uh, I've been making rings. Awesome. That's fantastic. Yeah, rings are a great place to start if you've never done wire uh, jewelry. Rings are a really wonderful place to start and I have lots of ring tutorials on my channel. So that's super fun. Uh, this wire is pretty soft, the 20 gauge artistic wire. It's going to be good to, with, to work with for this. I just have to figure out where I want to start with the tail for this one. So maybe what I'll do is I could even start with the head and I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna just, I'm gonna actually do a little eyeball for this one just for fun. So we're gonna take this one around, just bring it like make a teeny little eye and then bring this one around. And then the, the little spikes for this one, you can actually do like little loopies on them if you want so because some of the um the peacock things they seem to have like these little they're almost like little antennas but they're not antennas they're um they're like feathers um that have like little loopy things at the top so you can do something like that like a little loop and then we'll do another one hope i don't run out of wire but i can always add wire so we'll do another one here and also let me know that my hands stay in in the camera because sometimes they go off camera. So that can be a little bit unfortunate, but should be pretty good. So we're gonna go in here and here, around here, and then down here. And then now we're gonna do the rest of the, the head. So looks like a little crown, eh? It's kind of interesting around here and then we're going to do the beak so we can bring this one out maybe just a little bit and down and then this part i'm going to bring that one up and around so we're going to bring this one around here let's bring this one around and so that's what we've got so far like for the head type of thing and then we want to bring this one around here and just looks like it just kind of just going from my drawing we're just going to bring that one around here so that's kind of cool and then this side we're going to bring the head around here there and around so we're just going to bring that one around here i might run out of wire so we're going to see and then do I want to do like little feet thing? I could do feet, but I also might run out of wire. So that's okay. I can always add some after. So we're going to take this one down. Just do some little, little basic feet. I don't know how I want to do the feet. I'm just going to keep them simple, I think. So we're going to just do like that. Maybe like that. And that. And then up. And then around here, these feet might be funny, but that's okay. We're just gonna play around with them. Around here, hi, Kathy, just found the live. Yeah, we're a little late today, Kathy. We're starting a little late. And hi, Cole, Cole. Uh, we um, started at two and then I had a glitch and then we restarted. So yeah, we're a little late today. So now we're gonna do this one and that one just to get the little feet and back up. So this is, I think I did the feet crooked. No, they're okay. So there's that one like that. And then we're gonna bring this one here and around. And then the idea would be to do some kind of feathers thing. Well, he's, a, he's got a funny shape, but that's okay. It's just, uh, we just wanna get the design mainly. The shape's not so important so much if it's not perfect. 
And now what we want to do is bring these ones up, maybe up to here. And what I want to try to do is do some kind of like feather thing. So if we bring this one down and then I want to keep it really loose. I really think I'm going to run out of wire, but that's okay. So we're going to bring this one down. And what if I bring that one down? Just trying to go from the picture here and up and then down and then up and then maybe down like for another row type of thing. See what I can do down here and up, maybe bring it a little more down. Yeah, I really, I think I'm definitely gonna have to add some more wire because the idea was just to bring this one kind of around to make these like rounded feather things, but this might not work. So we're gonna bring that one around here and then down and then up. And then I can always add, it's not bad, but we can also, we can always add some um, wire to it as well. So if we bring that one up, I think I'm going to just have to, I should have attached these to begin with maybe. So these ones I probably should have just attached together here. Okay. And then this one, I wonder if we can... Yeah, see this one I should have just uh, added extra wire. I'm going to just like bring this one around here and finish it here. And then I'll, I might add some more wire to it after. So this is just an experiment. Hi, Myra. There we go. Um, Manuel says, I'm thinking of going to have to watch this video many more times. <laughs> yeah, it definitely is a learning curve. And I'm this is the first time I made a peacock. So it's definitely a learning curve for me too. So we're going to bring this one around. And then these, I think you can kind of wind them into the tops of these feathers to get them to hold in place. That's the idea. And Whoopsies, I didn't catch anything. So let's try it in here. Oh yeah, it's coming out. So we're just gonna bring that one in here. So what I'm doing is I'm just like tying them up at the end. I, what I should have done is maybe stack them at the end or something. So I can just bring that one around. It's kind of interesting. I think it just, if I needed more wire, you said <laughs> Amber still has to do that. So this is, very, very interesting. So I think we need more wire though. So let's get another piece of the 20 gauge wire, um, a decent sized piece. And maybe what we can do is just like do these feathers and then add them after. So we're gonna bring this, uh, we can even use our round pliers if we need. Uh, hi, Karen. What gauge wire is this? This is 20 gauge wire and it's, um, the artistic wire. I, I like to use the artistic wire from Beetleon. It's my preferred wire and 20 is good for this, especially for my prototypes when I'm not sure where I'm going with them. It's always good to start with a like an average gauge wire. 20 is a nice medium gauge. 18 is a little stiff. So and then this would be you could keep going with this and just stick these in here. Uh, let's see how much I want to do. Yeah, I don't think I want to do, I should have maybe varied the sizes a little bit more. Here, let's bring this one down a little bit more. I'm going to get this one around here. Okay, some, and then some, the ones up here can maybe be a little bit higher, just to taper them a little bit. Okay, so now, uh, artistic higher. Um, thanks. Artistic wire is harder temper wire. Not really. It's sort of a, I wouldn't say, call it hard. It's a medium. It's like medium. It's not soft, soft. It's soft though. It's pretty soft, but it's definitely not like half hard. They do have a brass, a tarnish resistant brass, which is stiffer, which is more like half hard, but this is just their gold color. And so it's, um, it's like a medium, medium, I would say. So now we're gonna bring this one around. I'm just winding this around because I had to add an extra wire for this. 
so that's okay and even I could have done more feathers than that I should have maybe curved them a bit see there's something things look always a little more interesting when you curve them because right now they look a little bit stiff so I'm just going in here and curving them Helen hello I love to watch most of your videos of jewelry making yay that's awesome thank you so we're going to bring these ones down a little bit. Yeah, the live streams are different because I, I'm working on designs that I've never tried before. So this is this is fun. So this is our peacock and we can play around with it for sure. You can add beads too if you want. But that, that's what I wanted to try just to do like this funny little, this funny little tail thing. So we can bring this one around, curve it around a little bit and stuff. Yeah, there's lots you can do with this. So this, to show you what I did, this was the drawing I did, and then this was the actual piece. So it's not bad, it's pretty close. And um, this would make a nice brooch, absolutely. It would make a really cool brooch or pendant, especially if you put some beads in it, which I wanna try next is to do some beads. So I had an idea to either do like this type of thing with beads in it, or like you could even do dangling beads, which might be interesting as well. So why don't we try both? We can try both. We'll start with that one. And I will again do 20 gauge wire. I think it'll be fun. So let's get some 20 gauge, uh, probably a decent length here. And then for the head, I was thinking it would be cute to do beads, although I guess they should be sticking up a little bit. So let me just see what kind of beads we would do for that. If I have some, I have all these beads too, which are my seed beads. So there's lots of nice ones here. So those are my seed beads. Let me just move them over a little bit and I'll show you my other beads, which are, uh, these are my miracle beads and my cat's eye beads. Some pieces of wire stuck in there. So, um, Mira says, have to try the dangling beads, but I have to leave. Okay, thanks for hopping on. We'll see you next time. So now let us take some beads and try something here. So maybe I'll just try some, I don't know which ones, maybe purple, purple ones, we could try purple. So if I do like this type of thing, and I'm just going to put a few beads on top just to make it a little bit more decorative. So we're going to do this one here. And then let's do another one. Okay. Um, 30 plus years. Oh, yes. Thank you, uh, Amber. I've been making wire jewelry for 33 years and uh, have lots of experience. And where can you find the beads? So beads you can get on Amazon, uh, on Etsy. Uh, I also buy them at uh, Michael's, which is a local uh, craft store, like um, for all kinds of different craft stuff. Uh, all kinds of places you can get beads. Seed beads are pretty basic. Uh, you can get them probably at almost any craft store and uh, definitely online. So uh, I buy a lot of my supplies on um, uh, Etsy too, because they're not, Etsy is not only artists that sell their work, but they also have a lot of supplies. So that's a good place to go. Uh, 33 years. Exactly. Yeah. So now we're going to take this one around here, but now I'm thinking these beads might even be too big, but we're going to see, we're going to curve this one around and then bring this one over here. And this is going to come around here. And I will just form kind of a beat thing. And as always with any of these designs, you guys can just like use some of the ideas. You can, you know, just use some of the concepts. You can come up with your own ideas, but it just gives you an idea for design wise, what might work and what might not work. Uh, beads on Amazon. Yeah, absolutely. Hi, Randy. How are you? Nice to see you. So, and hey, Sandy, Sandy, is there a Sandy on here? I think I'm missing some comments. So there we go. So we're going to take this one here, bring this one around, around and around. So uh, let's see, and bring that one around there. And then 
So that's sort of the head. The beads are like way too big, but that's okay. You get the idea. And we're gonna bring this one around, Let's curve it around. And then I'm gonna actually bring this one up and down here. So let me just curve this out a little bit. And then for this one, I wanted to do a kind of a spiral thing. I'm gonna, so I'm gonna get this one down, maybe fix this one a little bit. And Sandmaker, no problem, Karen, that's Randy. Uh, Sandmaker is Randy, so for you guys that don't know, and hi, Kathia, nice. So now we're gonna take this one, uh, bring that one around, and now I'm gonna do my little, my little, um, how do you call it, spiral thing. So we're gonna take this one, bend it up, and around, I'm just watching, I'm just looking at my shape that I drew, so around here, all the way around, and then down, and then this one up. And if you need help with your pliers or a pen, you can do that. Hi, Callow Voice, nice, nice to see you. And, oh, thank you, perfect. Yeah, Sandmaker is Randy. Yes, which sometimes it takes us a while to get used to our the usernames on, on um, YouTube because not everybody uses their, their real name. Uh, like Amber is Tree Sap Girl and Amber's one of the moderators of the group. So here is this one, uh, like that. And then I'm just gonna look at my picture. I actually drew this mirror image, so it's not quite exactly easy to follow, but that's okay, whoops. This one has to come around here, I think. There, and then we're gonna bring this one around here. And then I want some, I'm trying to figure out how to do this because what I wanna do, oh, it's kind of interesting. It's got a little kinked here. We'll bring that, smooth it out a little bit. And then I want to do some little loops to hang beads on. So that is what I'm gonna do now. I should have maybe done it more towards the back. I just thought about that. That might be, a, might have been a better bet. But what I can do is, I'm just gonna do a few little loops here. So we're gonna take this one, bring this one down. Hi, Car uh, hi Corey, nice to see you. So now we are gonna take this one and do our little loops. So one, two, three, four, Okay, so there's that one. And then we have to like attach it. So this one here, I'm gonna bring this one down, around and down. So these ones right now, they're finished at the bottom. But what I'm wondering, I should have done the, I probably should have done the loops more to the back, would have been better, but it's okay, you get the idea. So this one here, I want to finish them off. So I'm gonna bring this one down here. This the, probably the ends will get a little covered up anyway. So let's just take that one, bend it around, and we'll give it a little clip. Just clip that one. And then this one, bring that one in there. And we can just, I think we're just gonna finish that one off too because I don't want too many wires. So I'm just gonna like clip that off. If I was to make another one, I would probably think of a better way to finish it off. But uh, Helen said I make jewelry. I'm pretty good, but I watch YouTube also. And I wish that I that good, but I'm pretty, you're pretty good. I'm, I'm sure your work is beautiful. I'm sure. So there is the, um, so far, the, uh, I like the way that loops up that way. I should have done my loops all the same way, but that's okay. So there is the basic shape. And now we wanna hang some wires down. So I'm not gonna use uh, head pins because I want the wires to be a little bit curved. That's what I'm thinking. And then let's just do a little loop on the end so the beads don't fall off. Uh, this one's very nice, thank you. And we have a uh, Remsoft Vidyalar, hello, from Turkey, cool. I've been to Istanbul, beautiful country. And so now there's this, and let us cut that bit off. 
and we're just going to put some beads. So I haven't really thought in advance of what beads I'm going to use. I'm just going to take a bunch of these out so I can see them. And hopefully I have a nice little variety. So let's just start with this one. I have to straighten that end a little bit. Perfect. Come on you. And then we're going to put on this one. And then I'm just going to add some different, maybe different colors of purple. Like actually they could be different colors too. Where did I put my, there's a lot of blues. Actually, I'm just looking at these. There's a lot of blues. And here I have a peacock feather that we got at a friend's farm. So this gives you an idea of the colors. There's like royal, there's green. Hmm, there's some really nice colors there. So why don't we just do a bunch of colors? So, oh, Carly Stone, thank you so much. That's really nice of you to say that. And hi, Leah. There we go. So if I miss anybody and I didn't say hello, be sure to introduce yourself and say hello. Oh, that's not the color I want. I want a red one. Uh, where did you get your YouTube shirt? I made that YouTube shirt. I just printed it out and put it on a shirt. So that was super fun. I did that when we went, used to go to YouTube festivals. We used to go to um, a Vid Summit and VidCon and Buffer Festival. And my daughter and I used to go to all those festivals. And she used to also do YouTube. She doesn't do it anymore, but she used to do YouTube. And so we used to go to all kinds of these really cool festivals, which was fun. So this is just, I'm just trying to use the colors that would be in the, um, in the um, peacock. I don't know how well this is gonna work out, but this one clashes somewhat. So I'm gonna remove that one. And then I'm just trying to find some other, there's a nice purpley color. These might or might not, I mean, this is the part where you're gonna have to like think of what you wanna do because it's really, uh, it's really up to you what kind of colors you want to use. I'm going to try to keep these a little bit consistent so they don't look too uh, funny. So did I say hi to Leah? I think I said hi to Leah. Hi, Leah. And so now we are going to just put a bunch of these seed beads on here. Let me just get these on here. And then this, the idea would be these would like kind of dangle down here. But now I think... I need a little bit more variety in these beads. So let's do that one. And there's this one. I really don't think it matters too much about what we do. I'm not sure I'm loving the cat's eye, but it's, it's not awful either. So let's just, yeah, this is the part where I always struggle is knowing what kind of beads to use. So maybe I'll just keep it simple. I'm going to keep it simple and then I would cut this one to about three eighths to half an inch and then you would have to take this one back towards the front and around and then you would stick it in one of these loops. So that would be the idea. Stick it in one of the loops and then that would sit like that. Now whether it actually sits properly or not we might have to bend it we might have to like twist it so if we do we might have to like wait hold this because you want it to curve around right now it's not curving properly so if we want it to curve towards the back we're going to hold this and we might have to rotate this a bit and curve it out because it didn't quite curve properly so that should be pretty good so let's try another one like that why don't we make them all the same uh oh helen says i'm a huge fan of yours thank you so much i appreciate that i have such fun with these tutorials and the live streams and just that you guys enjoy my uh my projects i'm super happy for that so now let's get this one on here and we're just going to do the same pattern it's going to be easier if i keep it consistent and then i don't have to think too much so Andre says, Paraben Brazil, hello, hello. Hello from Montreal. So now we're gonna take this one and this one and then a darker one. And let's see how that looks. So if we do that one there, yeah, I'm really trying to keep them. Maybe I'll make this one a little bit longer though. 
that's what I'm wondering about. How are we going to do this so they are gradually... Actually, I guess we don't... I guess we want them to get a little bit more staggered. So we're going to do this. And then I'm going to bend this one straight up. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to clip that... Before I bend it, I'm just going to clip that like 3 eighths to half an inch. And then... Uh, yes, Sean. Hello. Hello, Sean. How are you? So now we're going to bring this one up and around, and that one's going to go in here. So we just want to fill up all these loops. I made five of them. No, I didn't. I made four of them. So we're going to get this one in here. Try to get it right in there. Might have to open it up a little more. Get that one in here. There we go. It's a little tricky to get in there. There we go. And then we're going to close that one up. So there we have, oh, this is really pretty guys. So let's get another one. And we are, Andre says, hello, hello Andre. So now we are going to bring this one in here bring that one around and hopefully we still have enough of these beads so these the one i put at the bottom is like a little faceted bead it's a little um six millimeter faceted gauze bead so that one's really pretty and then this is a four millimeter miracle bead everybody knows that's my favorite bead and then we have a four millimeter cat's eye bead i love cat's eye beads and then we have a small seed bead and then another small seed bead sorry i haven't been on much oh no worries at all yeah whenever you guys can make it is wonderful but no pressure so now we are going to just take this one cut this to three eighths to half an inch and bring that one towards the front and around so now that one's going to go in here the third the third loop. I made four loops. You can make as many as you want. I've actually made something similar to this before, but it was a parrot. So it was a parrot, same idea, almost the same shape. And then the beads were hanging down for the parrot's tail. So that was super cute too. So now we just have one left. I do have another scrap of wire. So we're going to cut the end flush and we are going to Amanda. So Amanda is Yashan. Fill me in here. Um, I think I'm, I maybe didn't know that, or if I knew that, I forgot it. So is Amanda Yashan? Let us know, because that would be good to know. So now, Amber's so good at remembering everybody's names, and I really appreciate that, because I don't always uh, remember and even though I've written them down, some of them I don't have written down. So now let's just keep going with this. And this one. Um, Amber also does all my time stamps for my videos, which is super appreciated. So for these live streams, if ever you want to hop to one of the other projects, uh, in the description of the video, uh, shortly after it's published, within a few days, uh, Amber sends me all the timestamps when, when things happened and um, uh, when uh, so you can follow. Uh, yeah, Sean is Amanda. Awesome. Good to know. Okay, perfect. So thanks, Amanda, for hopping on. And thank you, Amber, for letting us know that that's Amanda. There we go. Because we have a few Amandas in the group. We actually have a lot of Amandas in the group. So so that's uh, that's good to know. So now we're going to close this one up. Oh, get in there, you. Close that one up. And there is our super cute um, peacock with the... Dan oh, I really like that. That turned out better than I thought. So there is the peacock. And I am going to put... Um, photos of all these in the description or like in the community section. So here they are so far. We've done we've done quite a few, more than I thought we'd do, but let's do another one. I actually want to try the feather too. I think the feather would be super cute. So let us try.
try the feather. I really like the gold wire for this too. So let's get the gold wire. Um, I'm just thinking out loud here. Um, maybe I'll even do those smaller ones with smaller wire. So I'm going to get the gold first. And then I also have 22 gauge gold, which might be good for this too. So here's the 22 gauge gold. Let me remove that. Let me take a bunch of the 22. Okay, there we go. Bunch of the 22. And now we are going to try to figure this out. Because they're all so cute. Thanks, Randy. So now this is where I'm wondering what to do so they actually hold in place. Um, let me just think for a minute, guys. Uh, hmm. I think I'm just gonna start by twisting this on. So we do this, because I don't want them to be like super loose, right? So, mm -hmm. yeah, because this is gonna do weird stuff. I could do loops in the wire which might be good. Uh, the other thing is just use the same wire, which might be easier. Because I think if we do separate wires, uh, it's gonna be a real mess. So maybe what we can do is do like this type of thing. I'm just gonna play with it for a sec and then we're gonna see. Yeah, because if these these might be really difficult. I think I might actually just do a, like a wrappy thing. I've done feathers. Yeah, this is not going where I want to go. So let me move that over here. I'm going to try just to do wrap them on something. First, I'm going to cut this quite long. Quite long. And I have to just think the other thing I could do is let me try while I'm playing with this. I'm going to just try something else. And if it doesn't work, I will try to wrap them. So let's just take this. I'm going to take these. I think this is not going to work either, but you never know until you try. Um, I need close-up pics. Uh, I need to upload some pics of the rings I've made. Oh, yeah, nice. Awesome. That would be great. Hi, Kiki Joy. Hello. Yeah, you guys, um, the link to Slack... Slack is an app where you can share your work, especially if you don't have Facebook. And um, there's a link in all my videos and or in the about section of my channel. So if you want to share photos, you can share them in, on Slack in the share the, your work section, or you can even email them to me at info at heatherboydwire.com if you don't have social media. That's not a problem at all. So Slack is a nice uh, platform. There's no ads. Uh, there's no weird stuff. It's just, you know, you can just share pictures of your work. So now I'm just going to clip this one and I'm going to do that. And this is just like seeing what it would look like if I did that type of thing. And then let me get that piece of wire that I scrapped uh, this one and see what we can do with that. So, cause I thought it might be cute, maybe cute, might not work, to take this wire and then bend it around maybe a couple of times. Probably would have to do it a couple of times or it's not gonna hold. And then like this type of thing. And maybe just cut them all about the same length and then see what we could do with them after. See, once you have the loop in there, it holds in place. So let's try this. And if it doesn't work, we'll just go another direction. So this is the idea behind that. Because when you attach wires, you need a place. Like, see already this is flipping around. So what can we do about that? We can first cut that. And then we can also bend this one around the other part of that. So we've got it bent on both sides of that loop. And then the theory is that it's, yeah, it doesn't wiggle so much. So you have to do the same thing here. You have to bring that one, wrap it around that part there and there. And it's still wiggling a bit. So this might not be a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. See, these are still like really 
wiggly. Hmm. Okay, you know, okay, that didn't work too well. So let me get another idea going here. What if, this also might not work, so scrap that. So what if we got a few of these, a few pieces of wire. Um, I'm just gonna get a few of these and see. That one, that one, that one. Yeah, this probably won't work either. I was thinking to do like a tree type of thing, but I think that's not gonna work either. Hmm. Yeah, this is this is where you're like on the ground floor of the design process because often it doesn't work, but you don't know until you try. So if I try twisting these ones together, okay, and then we just did like that one went there, that one went there. And then, mm -hmm. let me get some more. I'm gonna be wasting a lot of this wire, I think, but that's okay. You never know until you try. Uh, okay. Uh, Amanda says, this is the first time I've made any jewelry. Oh, well, that's not a problem at all. I'm sure it's beautiful. Um, sometimes beginner work is has a kind of a natural beauty to it, so I'm sure it's beautiful. So now it's like kids' art in a way, and I don't mean that in the bad way. I mean that in a way that it's uh, very uh, artistic. So now what we're going to do is we did those ones. So what if I? Hmm. Yeah, I'm just really thinking out loud, guys. So though that has to stay there, that has to stay there. And then this one would have to, hmm. Okay, what if we bring that one up? Okay, what if we bring those three up? This one goes here. And then we still do the twisty thing, but we're doing it with a different wire. So now we're gonna go these ones, two, three, Oh, no, that didn't twist properly. So this one has to come down and down and down. And then these ones have to like twist. So those are somewhat staying. This one will stay there. Yeah, that one is still wiggling. So maybe that one will stay there, these ones. And then I'm gonna add another wire here. This looks really complicated, but it's kind of interesting. And then this one goes here and that one goes there. And then we're gonna twist these. So we're gonna go one, two, three. And then this one, the ones that more is more solid you keep. Okay, and then we're gonna get another wire. Let me get another one. Okay. Uh Darn, those are beautiful. Cool. Yeah, we are our own worst critics, that's for sure. Um, yeah, I never, I never considered myself to have a lot of artistic talent, but I, uh, I love it, so that's why I've always persevered with it. So now we're gonna hold this one here. We, these wires actually don't have to be that long. That one here, that one here, and then we're gonna one, two, I think I've just invented a way of wrapping these things that I never thought about doing, but it seems to be working pretty well. So then we leave that one. I think I don't need such long wires. So that's good to know. Let me measure the wires so we have an idea. And it's measured about maybe, I don't know, maybe even eight inches should be fine. So uh, now we're going to put this one to this side. And then we're gonna take these two and these two and we're gonna twist them. One, two, three. Maybe don't put them so far apart. And then this one is a good, now which is the more solid one? That's what we wanna do. We wanna keep the solid one out. Those to that side, those to that side. And then, oh, see this is wiggling, but I think it'll be fine. So that seems long enough too. I'm gonna go down to seven inches now. I'm gonna keep going smaller as I need it. Uh, I'm wondering if Amanda may be behind in the video. Oh, oh, maybe. I'm not sure. There might be a lag. If you guys are lagging, you can refresh. 
you can refresh the video if, because uh, I don't know how that works. If, if some people might be at a different point than others, you might want to refresh your page just to be sure that's possible. Yeah. So now this, and I'm still, my wires are still long. So let's go down to six inches. Six inches might be good. So we're going to put this one here to six inches. And then we are going to, this might not be long enough actually. So now we're going to one, two, three. So, um, should be all right. So now we're going to this one. Uh, this is the one we keep. Yep. Those ones there. Yeah. Um, the wire, see the length of the wires. I'm not hundred percent sure about because it depends on where the wire ends. Uh, Amanda says I just started watching as she was finishing up the last peacock. Okay. So, uh, did you refresh your page now? Let, let, let us know if you're, if you're with us now. So now we've got this one and that one, and we're going to wind these one, two, three, and uh, we might be able to do a few more wires. No, we don't need too much more. And like I said, I'm not even 100% sure this is going to work, but we're going to try it. So this one goes here, and that one goes here, and now we're going to twist again. This one can go underneath. And we're going to go one, two, three, and um, maybe we'll just do one more because uh, we're going to run out of time. So we're going to put that one there, that one there, and let's do one more. Cut another piece of wire. I'm going to have a little sip of water. Vusali, hello. Nice. Nice to see you. Uh, I had to go pick up my son from school. Ah, yes, yes, for sure. So now we're going to do this one here, there and there, and then we're going to do one last twist. So we've got that one and that one, and then we're going to go one, two, three. So now we've got all of these wires, guys. That's a lot of wires. And then we have to decide what we're going to do because this was, this was the picture these are way too long. So let me just trim some of these a little bit so they're not in our way. Okay, and that one too. So now we have these. And then this is a really cool teardrop bead. Um, I might, oh, look at that. Look what I happen to have in my stuff. So we'll see if we're gonna use that or not because it doesn't really look like that so that would be a cool bead but look it looks more like that type of thing this would be really nice to do with colored wire now that I think about it we probably could have done some colored wire which would have been really pretty but if we bring this one up here okay I'm gonna bring one of these up here uh, maybe a longish one so I'm gonna bring that one up here and this one here i'll take the longest one so this one's longer and what if we take a round bead the middle part looks like it's a royal blue so if we, let's take a piece of um, royal blue miracle bead that's kind of cool and then we could even what if we did like little beads around it or something it might be interesting because if you did like little beads around it or wire, let me just grab some colored wire to see what we have. Um, maybe in 22 or 24 days. Okay. I have some colored wire here. So let's see what we have. We have, um, this is 22 and I have purple too which is 22, and then in the 24, let me see what I got, it's 26, and this is uh, 24. So I have a bunch of these 24s, and now we've got these colors. So we've got these ones, uh, hot pink, which I don't think we need, but there is green, so green might be interesting. And it looks like there's green, there's blue, there's yellow. So maybe those ones, this one's maybe a little dark. And what if, 
these are actually 22 is a little thick. Let's go with 24. Okay, I'm going to grab a little sip of water. I could have done the whole thing in colored wire. That's what I'm thinking now. I could have done the whole thing in colored wire, but that's okay. So now, because I was thinking also I could put beads around, but it's going to get too chunky with the beads. So let's get some of this nice green. Okay, I'm just going to cut a few pieces of these wires. So here's green. There's um, purple. Let's cut some purple. And you can use your artistic license with this. Uh, hi, Michelle. How are you? Fashion trends. Hello. Parveen. Nice to see you. So now we're going to get some, this more yellow one. And what size are you using for the peacock? The peacocks were 20 gauge. This one is 22 gauge. And now, uh, but I, I'm in retrospect thinking I should have done this in colored wire because look, these are more like greeny, greeny, um, yellowy colors. So this is just a real prototype. What happens if we add some, a wire like this one? I might even stick it like right through that bead if I can. I don't know if, oh, you can, yeah. So we can stick that in there and maybe I'll just wind it around here to see what I can do with this. So if we wind it right around, just to give it a little bit of color. Ooh, that's pretty. That's really pretty. So now that's lovely. And what we can do from here is just bring it up. Ooh, and if you just like it, actually, if you bring it up and then out a bit, it makes like a kind of a ray around the around the um, bead, which is cool. So now I'm actually going to trim one of these. So let's take this end and trim it off here. We'll bring it around and cut it just to get rid of that end. That's always the challenge is what to know, to know what to do with these ends. Okay. So let's cut that one. Let me just bring it down a little bit more. Come on you. Perfect. And then working on a feather. Yes. Yep. For sure. This one's a feather and we're going to bring this one around. This is so fun working on these samples with you guys because otherwise I'd be just like all alone doing this at two in the morning. So this is kind of nice that I have some company. So yeah, I mean, I could even bring, if you want to integrate the color in theory, you could even like maybe bring it down a little bit more. Like say we can just like bring the green all the way down if we want to add a little bit of color because otherwise it might look funny if there's just color at the top. So let's, let's just bring this down a little bit just to integrate the color a little more through here. Could have cut the, I could have cut the wire longer, but this it's just to integrate the color a little bit more Otherwise, it's going to look funny with colored wire at the top. And like I said, you can do this whole thing in colored wire if you prefer. That uh, would not be a problem whatsoever. Bring this. And then I also like the idea of doing a, um, a peacock with colored wire, like the whole peacock as well. But we won't get time for that today. I'll finish the feather, but we're not going to have any time to start a new project. But we will have already done uh, four things, so that's pretty cool. So now we're just going to bring this one down here. So that's our end with our green wire. And then for this, we can, um, what other color we can do? Uh, looks like there's more like yellowy green things as well. We could even maybe, maybe, I like the idea of adding purple. Although I, you know, it's, it's, it's your guys call what you, what you feel like this needs. Like if you want to add some purple in there, you can definitely do that, even though the peacock doesn't necessarily have a purple, but it kind of looks nice. So you can add maybe a little bit of purple in there. It's kind of interesting. Gives it a little bit more contrast. So if you do that, then we're gonna just take this end and wrap it around. And if you change your mind, you can just remove it. It's not a big deal. So we're going to bring this one in here. Uh, live chat doesn't correlate with the 
Video. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, could be a centipede. Okay. Yeah, so refresh. You guys refresh the page if the your chat's not uh, coinciding with the with the video. That that can happen. Uh, so I'm not quite sure if this usually happens or if this is something that's just happening today. So let me know if you're having trouble and you can refresh your page. Now I'm just adding this purple down here. I don't see. I don't even know if this is necessary. Maybe the purple's overkill, but it's very subtle, so I kind of like it. It's just something a little bit different, and um, this way you guys can decide if you like it or not. If you don't like it, don't put it. If you like it, put it. There we go. Uh, Grandma can't make it have experience making dream catchers. Yeah, okay, cool. Um, yeah, it's with a lot of wires, it's uh, more tricky for sure. Yeah, definitely the more wires you have juggling, it's it's difficult. It's To me, it's easier to make things with a single piece of wire, but for a design like this, you want it to be quite um, delicate and fine. So anybody <laughs> hopping on my live stream right now is gonna be like, what? And they're gonna click off, but we're making a feather. So now we have to do the end a little bit. So if we're gonna take this one, I'm actually gonna like wind this one also around. I'm gonna bring this one up and that one up. And this one, I just wanna wind also around a little bit just to give it that impression. We're having a little extra wire here. I actually don't have enough to wind it twice, I don't think. So I'm just gonna wind it around once with the gold wire. Take this one around and around to the back. Oh, we can even maybe keep that. No, I'm just going to clip that one. It's going to say I can make another strand of feather with it, but I don't think it's going to work. So, um, now I'm going to uh, just make the top of the feathers here. Uh, let me bring this one around and bring this one around. Okay. And just bring this one up like that. So we're gonna, we just want them to be, we want these to be really wispy now. So this, this, you're just gonna have to play around with it to see what looks good. So I haven't thought in advance for this, but this is sort of the idea. They go like up and around type of thing. And this one too, up and around, up and around. And they don't have to be consistent. You know, you can, some of them can go more out. Some of them can go like down and up type of thing. You want it to be kind of very whimsical. So we're gonna bring this one around and up. And the ends, I think you can just cut them because unless you wanna do like a little loop on the end, but, and this is just very decorative guys. I don't, you, you, I don't think you do this in a, pin or anything it's going to be way too fragile but um and then this part at the end we're just going to have to um trim it i guess so we're going to bring this one right down uh let me just bring these wires all the way down and we're just going to wind this and trim it around and then we'll just cut the bottom i think i think that's going to be the best thing so if we just cut the bottom i'm just going to trim that here and we'll just, might need some heavy duty cutters, but we're just gonna try it with these. Well, it's not too bad. So that's just keeping it simple. And then for these ones, we're gonna have to figure out what we're gonna do with these. Let me put it flat on the table to see what we can do. Uh, uh, Amanda says, my video just refreshed while my words with you guys. Hmm, okay. And uh, yeah, if we were to do this with one piece of wire, it would be a very long piece of wire for sure. So now we're just gonna bring that one up and now you can adjust them to any size you want. And down. And then this one too, you can, I guess if you want to kind of put some shape into your feather, it might be interesting because right now it's a little bit kind of too straight, so we're gonna do that. 
And then for the size of these, the size of these, what do we want to do with this? Okay. Yeah, this is, you're just going to have to play around with it and see what you like. And I'm wondering if we should do like little loops. You could even, to make it like a little more decorative, you can do little spirals or something. Let's just try to cut one and bring it in and see how it looks. So we're going to take this one and bring it in a little bit and just try to, maybe if we just bring it in like a little bit like that might be interesting too. I just think this, how long is the, fe this, well, they're pretty long, these feathers. They're actually like, these, these things are pretty long. So why don't we just cut, randomly cut them to different lengths here and here and here and here. I'm just like giving this thing a haircut. So we're gonna see how it looks. Get in there. And yeah, I'm not even really like measuring them or anything. So we're gonna see how this goes. There and there. And there and there. So let's just try like that. I might not have cut enough on them. We're gonna see, I'm gonna move this over. Uh, the feather is, I think the feather is straight. Um, it is a little straight. Yeah, it's not too bad. It curves out at one end. We can try it like that. Let's see how it looks. Let's see if we curve it, like kind of out like that. Yeah, we could definitely do that. So it's not too wiggly. Let's try that. Okay, perfect. And let me just fix this one up a little bit. And, and then these ones, um, I think you can make these as stylized as you want. Like these two, they're in theory, they're straight. So we might want to cut them a little more straight than that. So let's just see what we do here and see how that goes. But yeah, we might want these more straight too. And we might want them a little bit shorter. I don't know how long we want them. I'm going to cut them a little bit shorter. There we go, a little bit more short. See? And then this one too, we're going to just see like that. Around here. Yeah, this part can get very fiddly depending on how you want it to look. Okay, that should be good. Maybe that one a little shorter. Perfect. So let's try this. And looks like Mirja said, looks like a centipede. Ah, yes. Yeah, it could it could look like a centipede. You're right. Yeah. So there we go. Yeah, this is where you use your artistic license and you do whatever you think looks good. Because even you don't have to do these loops, you can just keep them sharp like that if you want. So um, yeah, I'll be curious to know if you guys make one of these, what kind of like adjustments that you do to it, what you can uh, envision. I'm always open to your suggestions. So if you have other ideas, uh, definitely let me know. That's how we, that's how we evolve and how we learn. So I'm going to bring these ones in here. And this just gives it a little bit more of a finished look because otherwise it's going to be, um, they're just going to be like little sharp ends. So this way it just gives a little bit of a finish. Um, this one I think is too long now. So let me just trim that one a bit. And hi, Sandeep. How are you? Uh, what's a centipede? A centipede is uh, like a little insect uh, with like a little caterpillar almost um, with 100 legs. Do they actually have a hundred legs? I'm curious about that. So there's a millipede and a centipede. So um, they might actually have a hundred um, legs, centipedes. I mean, cent, cent is a hundred in French. Uh, so that's highly possible. So now we're just gonna keep going with these. We're almost done guys. And might not look like a feather, but it's, going to be pretty. So we're going to bring that one in here. And then one more. Randy said it looked like a centipede. Okay, cool. So now we're going to bring that one in here. And we're going to see how it looks. 
So this is the feather. Wow, it kind of looks like an alien, but that's okay. Uh, so we're gonna bring this one up here. These are these I find too long at the top too. So let's clip these ones. Are a little too long. And we're going to bring this one in. And this one too. So the idea is these ones come up around that one. They might be a little long, but that's okay. We're gonna bring these ones out here a little bit and bring those ones out here. So there's that. And then these ones, you can adjust them how you like, and they don't even all have to be at the same layer. So definitely I see that there's some we can make smaller, like this one too. It looks like it's way too long. Uh, I'm always lost, no problem. How uh, pretty, okay. Uh, I'll try to make one if I don't control, go crazy controlling the wires. Tell me about it, yes. Yeah, definitely it's been a bit of a battle with these wires. Uh, now I'm finding like some of these are like too long so you can always go in and trim them and adjust them but it gives you an idea of things you can do so yeah I might go in after and adjust some of these uh, lengths to make them a little more even uh, but this at least gives you an idea of the method and we're just going to bring that one up here and around and around and yeah, you can definitely play around with this and see what works. And I'll go in after and I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix them up a little bit. But for now, that is the feather, guys. Uh, let me know in the comments what if you have any suggestions for it. I, I think I'm gonna trim these a little shorter. We'll see what we can do with it. I think it would have been nice if it was all in colored wire. Uh, then we did the other peacocks. There's that one and there's that one with the beads. And then there's that one. I put the picture in the community section that you can have a look and see if you wanna try some. There's some I didn't try, I'd like to try that one. And um, yeah, let me know which is your favorite. Uh, that would be awesome. And Corey says, so darn creative, thank you. So let me put, and um, Amber says it's perfect. Oh, thanks. And it looks like you're drawing. It does look a lot like the drawing for sure. So let me flip the screen, I'll say goodbye. I just have to come around to the other side and do this and do that. So guys, we did it. We made four, well, three peacocks and one feather. Uh, thank you so much for hopping on. Regular video on Saturday, I'm going to make a sun catcher with some of those components that we've been working on recently. Every Tuesday is Tip Tuesday. I have a bunch more paperclip ring tutorials coming out. Be sure to join the Wire Makers Club on Facebook if you're not already a member. And also have the Slack app if you don't have Facebook. Or if ever you want to share photos, just email them to me at um, info at heatherboydwire.com. So have an amazing day. Uh, thank you, Amber, Clarice, and Mustafa for helping moderate the chat. And uh, we'll see you guys the next time. Bye.